Hello my loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you are new here then hello my name is Kate I hope you're all doing really well. So in today's video as you already know by the title I'm going to be showing you guys all of the new in pieces that I've recently purchased from Adenola, Massimo Duty, Zara, Mango and and other stories i have some really gorgeous pieces to show you guys and as always i'm going to try them on style them up and everything as well will be linked down below in the description box so without further ado let's get on with the video i'm really excited because i'm partnering up with adenola for this first part of the video they are my go-to active wear brand and if you follow my vlogs you will know i have been on a bit of a fitness journey recently it was my goal for the beginning of the year to get into a routine and i finally got myself into a good routine i've been really strict with two classes a week and i'm so proud of myself for sticking by it and obviously i have to wear a cute little active set which is normally adenola so i thought i would pick up some new sets as well first up is this gorgeous inky navy color and these are their ultimate leggings i have quite a few pairs of these already in lots of different colors and i just really loved this color i thought it was very sophisticated they're just such a perfect pair of leggings they're very comfortable they're stretchy they hold you in the right places and they're just very simple as well the only detail they have is the adenola logo on the back which matches with the sports bra which also has adenola on the back i love these sports bras because they're not too brawry they're almost more like a crop top so i feel really comfortable wearing this in the classes and out and about i don't feel too revealed these are really comfortable i always size up one size in the tops just because i find it a little bit more comfortable on the boobs they are very supportive they have inbuilt um pads as well which is really handy and they're just a very flattering shape as well and then i also picked them up in black as well because i wear these all of the time not only are they great for going to the gym or pilates or whatever exercise you do they're also great as an everyday pair of leggings so i'll often wear these when i'm working from home if i'm running errands or just chilling um these are kind of like my go-to legging what's really nice as well is they are kind of like a hybrid of that sporty material and like a normal soft material as well so they don't look out of place when you pair it with like normal clothes so yeah really versatile you can never have enough pairs of black leggings and then i also picked up another crop in the white color i actually thought this would look really nice with the blue as well and just mix and matching with any other Adenola pieces I already own. It's also worth noting as well, Adenola washes really well. So if you're constantly working out, washing, working out, washing, then you don't have to worry about the quality diminishing. So those are the sporty bits I picked up. And then I also got this set, which I thought would be perfect for airport attire. I love their like tracky sets. They're so comfortable. So there's the big oversized sweater with Adenola Sport across the front again it's in that really nice inky midnight blue so actually this would work really well with the leggings that i showed you guys earlier and then i've also got the matching joggers as well so for an airport outfit this will be really nice because you could wear these with the white crop for like going in and out of the airport when it's a bit hotter and then when you're on the plane you can cozy up with this so we'll definitely get a lot of wear out of these and then i also picked up this top which is a really big oversized white tee with the uh, text going front going across the front this is such a nice thick material again so really nice quality i just thought this would be good for casual days when i want to be comfortable big oversized tee leggings socks tucked into the leggings and trainers it's just an easy outfit but i just find it always really works well for me i also got a top up of some of their socks because i love wearing their socks they're very simple but i don't know i feel like little details like this make an outfit look so much more cute especially if you've got all matching adenola on they sell the socks in packs this pack has the white the black and the beige adenola have also just launched these really cute summer sets so you have the shirts which are 100% organic cotton so really lovely and breathable perfect for summer and then you have the matching shorts as well which are just so cute I mean you can't see very well but you'll see on the try and clip the shorts have like that boxer style look which is very much on trend at the moment 
Um, it's got the buttons going down, the little Adenola label at the front here. And then I picked up the exact same, but in the white color as well. The white shorts are slightly different. They just don't come with the label and the buttons going down. But these are perfect, especially for on holiday when you want something to chuck over your bikini. Equally, you can also wear these sets with trainers if you're going on a hike or exploring or whatever you're doing. I think they're very versatile. And of course as well, you can always wear these sets separately. But yeah, I just thought these would be very useful in the summer as really easy chuck on basics that are nice quality and breathable. I also have a code with Adenola which gives you free delivery, so I'll pop that on the screen here for you guys. Okay, so now for Mango, I've got four outfits to show you, um, two of which are very similar. So I need your opinions which one I should keep. Option number one is this really beautiful, long, linen style dress with this kind of like straw covered belt and i just thought this was so elegant and feminine i think it has a really nice balance showing just the right amount of skin because you have your arms out and your chest out but then it's quite long i'm also really impressed with the quality on this one it's double lined throughout so it's not see-through at all the material feels really lovely it's got a hidden zip at the back and it's just got like loads of really small details that make it look and feel so much more expensive than it actually is so this was 79.99 and i got this in a size extra small and yeah i love it but i'm a little bit worried is it a bit too mature for me i don't know i don't think it is though i probably wouldn't wear this in the uk i feel like this is more of an abroad piece for me. Although you definitely could wear this in the UK, hello Pippin, if you decided to join in the hall. You could make a really nice occasion wear piece or for like a barbecue, you can dress this up or down depending on the occasion. I think I'd probably wear this with my um, Amezo Ram sandals and like a nice basket bag or something like that. But yeah, I really love this piece, but let me show you the similar but different one. As you can see, very similar. Similar, if not the same material and also belt. But the difference is this is obviously a short play suit and it has all of this beautiful ruffling around the shoulders and the neckline. Both pieces, by the way, are very flattering because you have that wider belt to really cinch you in at the waist, which I always really love. And this piece is obviously a lot more girly and playful. So even though they're similar, I feel like they're at opposite ends of the spectrum. Let me know which one you prefer. I think I'm leaning more towards the longer dress. And I actually think this one would look really nice dressed up with like a nice pair of espadrille heels. I've got the perfect pair actually, which I'll have linked down below. Um, but yeah, both really lovely pieces. But unfortunately, I don't think it's wise to keep both. Okay, and then the next piece, well it's two pieces, is a set. And I came across this in store, I saw it on the hanger, it didn't catch my eye. And then I saw it on the mannequin and I was like, oh, this is actually really cool. For me, this is definitely a holiday piece. I would not wear this in the UK. So it's a long trouser set and then it has the matching shirt as well. And it's in this really gorgeous crochet lace kind of fabric. And again, I'm really impressed with the quality, especially because on the trousers, as you can see, it just has some shorts underlining it and i really feel like that's something that is normally missed out especially with like beachwear and cover-ups i think just by adding this little bit of cover on your bum it makes it so much more versatile because then you can wear it to lunch or to dinner and it doesn't feel inappropriate you'll feel comfortable and it will just look better as well but yeah i would wear this with a bikini underneath with like a little black bikini some black um little sandals and and it just makes a really nice beach outfit. I wear the bottoms in an extra small and the top in a small, and they are 45.99 each. And then the last thing from Mango is this long satin skirt. These, I don't feel like these suit me, but maybe it's just in my head, I don't know. But I have so many outfit ideas with these kind of skirts, and I just wanted to test it out see how many outfits I can pair with it, if I like it or not. But again, really nice quality. It's very smooth and silky. I really like how the waistband is very thin. I just think that makes it a lot easier for tucking in shirt and keeping that really neat and contained look. And this was 35.99 in the size extra, extra small. Okay, now moving on to Zara. Starting off with this really, oh, which way does this go? completely upside down there we go starting off with this really lovely satin style halter neck top with this cowl kind of gathering around the chest 
I just thought this was very elegant, um, really simple. Like there's not actually not a lot to it, but as a summer evening top, I think this would be really nice. I have lots of evening winter tops, but not many summer. So I thought I'd add this to the collection. And I often find that halter neck tops suit my frame. So, um, so yeah, this also came in black as well. So I'll have them both linked down below. As you can see, it's very flowy. So you'll definitely need some boob tape to secure this down. I can imagine this maybe with like some wide leg tailored trousers. I think that would look really lovely and some little heels as well. Oh, and for size reference, got this one in a small and this was 22.99. I bought two blue stripey items. I've got a real thing for blue and stripes at the moment, but um, I saw this shirt and I definitely already have something similar to this but I couldn't help myself. I really love these styles and I get so much wear out of them. So I just figured if I'm gonna get the wear out of it, it's not a bad purchase. Um, what I liked about it is how open the collar is. It's kind of got like this pressed open collar with buttons a little bit lower, which for me is quite flattering. I quite like to have a low neckline. It's just a really classic style. I think I always include this kind of thing in my capsule wardrobe videos. They're brilliant. And the ones I have at the moment are more beachy, whereas this one is a bit more structured. So I thought like for everyday wear in London, this would be perfect. It's a nice material, feels good quality. And I got this one in an extra small as it already comes a little bit oversized and this was 25.99 and then i also got this top here which i just thought was so cute as you can see it's got like all of the poofiness to it it's off the shoulder but what i really liked was the back detail it's got all of like these cutouts and then the tie here so you can really adjust it and fit it i don't know how well this suits me sometimes i feel like this shape doesn't suit me very well but let me know what you think in the comments I think it's really cute and I think tops like this in the summer are really nice when you don't know what to wear because you just pair it with jeans or, or shorts or whatever and it's just an easy outfit. I wonder if they do this in white as well because I feel like this in white would be really beautiful. Next up are a pair of white trousers. So I have been on the hunt for the perfect pair of summer white trousers and I actually found them in Reese but they've literally been sold out for so long. I'm just basically looking for something that has belt loops is floor length, kind of wide, but the most important thing is it has a front seam. So I have lots of white trousers, but none of them have that front seam, which I think makes them look so much smarter. So when you do want to dress an outfit up, it's the perfect pairing. So I found these ones in Zara, and they are really nice actually. They are pretty much what I was looking for, but they don't have the belt loops. But they have this kind of front pressed seam, which I love, and I also loved the um, ankles as well. It's got this big overturned, overturned hem. The only thing is, they are an inch too short, but also an inch too long. Like it kind of hovers just above my feet, and it's just I don't know. It doesn't. It's not quite right, basically. So I either have to get these tailored or send them back, which is a shame because other than that, I really like them. But yeah, if you are under five foot four or just above five foot four, I think these would be perfect for you. But I'm obviously just that awkward, slightly in the middle height, which it doesn't really lend itself to trousers like these. On a more positive note though, these are one of the few white trousers I've come across that don't show the pockets underneath. Like it's quite a nice thick material, but still feels lightweight. So nice for summer, but, um, but yeah, as you can see, you can't see the pockets, which is a real pet hate of mine. And then the last thing I got from Zara is this super cropped black shirt with like the cropped sleeves as well. I had a very similar one to this last year in white from Zara and I really wanted it in black. This is the most similar I could find and it's kind of different but I think it's quite cool and I think if styled right this will look really nice. It's kind of got that utility style vibe to it. But yeah, I'm on the fence about this one. It depends how many outfits I can style it with. But what I do really like about this is it's very lightweight. I feel like on a really hot day, this will be perfect. I also did a shop in Massimo Duty. I went the other day and I found these gorgeous shorts and I was like, I need these, went to buy them. The queue was so long. So I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna come back or order them online. So I went to another store the next day and they didn't have the shorts, which was so annoying. I'll put up a picture on the screen. Um, I'm definitely gonna order them online because they're just so like clean looking. I often find with denim shorts, they can look a little bit scruffy, which isn't necessarily bad because you can obviously like style it up and make it look a lot more smart. 
but I just really loved how clean these looked and they're a really nice colour as well. So I'll link them down below. But whilst I was shopping, I spotted this top that I'm wearing now and I think this is really nice. I really love it. It's very, I feel like it's very much my style. And again, if you watch my vlogs, you'll know that I've been really into Massimo Duty at the moment. They've got loads of nice tops. But yeah, this is like almost a bit of a dense knit obviously sleeveless it's got a nice low v-neck and these really gorgeous gold buttons going down and yeah i just fell in love so i bought this and i actually really like how i styled it today with just jeans it makes it feel a lot more casual but equally if this is something that you could wear to the office if you're allowed to have your arms out definitely style this up with like some black tailored trousers and that would look really nice and then i also picked up this top from massimo duty which is like a really nice knit material again as you can see it's see-through so it's very lightweight and breathable and again similar to that blue shirt from zara i often forget to buy like pretty pretty summer tops that you can just pair with any old, old trouser and i thought this was a really good addition i also love again i love the halter neck i think it's very flattering yeah it's 49.95 which is a bit more expensive for something like this but i guess it is reflected in the quality it feels lovely and for size reference i got this one in a extra small and then finally on to and our stories they had so many lovely basics that i had to stop myself from buying because i already have things like it and i don't want to be buying duplicates but yeah they had like loads of really nice body suits and tops all of that kind of thing um but i've been on the lookout for a really nice black dress for summer i've got lots of jersey dresses but i wanted more of like a knit style dress this one Oh my god i love this one it's so simple but the material is really nice it's like that ribbed knit and um as you can see it's got a nice long scoop neckline and i think with the material being that little bit more kind of like textured and interesting it makes it feel a bit more considered and luxury compared to a jersey dress which by the way i love and i wear all the time but like I said, it's more casual. So if I want a more elevated look, I thought this would be lovely. You can also dress these up with like little heels as well and have it as an evening outfit. But yeah, I thought this would be nice with just sandals or trainers. I could belt it in, chuck a little um, blazer over the top and it will just be a really nice basic that I come back to year on year. This was a bit more expensive. This was £129. No, it wasn't. £120. And I got this in an extra small. But I kind of justify the price when something is a little bit more expensive, but I know the quality will be good. I'll get lots of wear out of it. I don't mind spending so much money. And then another thing from And Upper Stories is this really cute little polo top. It's got this really nice collar here, and then it's this kind of like see-through netting. Not netting, that's a really bad description. I don't know, but you can kind of see the material, how it is here. It's see-through, so you definitely have to wear a nude bra underneath but yeah i just thought this was a nice mix of like cool but smart and well and i think this with like little shorts would make a really nice preppy but modern look and this one was 55 pounds in a size extra small so that my loves brings us to the end of this haul i really hope you enjoyed it everything will be in the description box down below and if you haven't already please go like and subscribe it means the world to me and it means i also know which videos you guys are loving if you have any questions for me as well please leave them down below and i will get back to you and yeah i'm wishing you all a lovely rest of the day i love you all so 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 much and i'll see you in the next video bye